Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's free online review session on professional education, the teaching profession. I'm Teacher Ronnie, your facilitator for today, and I'm thrilled to have with you here with me. Whether you're an aspiring teacher, a current educator, or simply someone interested in the world of teaching and education, you've come to the right place. So our today's goal is to provide you with valuable insights knowledge and tips related to the teaching profession. We'll cover various aspects of teaching from educational laws and principles to classroom management and best practices. Throughout our session, feel free to engage with us in our chat, ask questions and share your thoughts. We're here to learn and grow together, so you have to be active participants and that would highly recognize and encourage. Now, without further ado, let's embark on this journey of professional development and exploration of the teaching profession. Together, we'll unlock the doors to knowledge and empower ourselves to make a positive impact into the world through education. So sit back, relax, and let's begin our free online review session on professional education, the teaching profession. Let's begin with the first situation. Maria, a teacher in public elementary school, has observed that some of our students are frequently absent from school. She suspects that the students are facing challenges at home. What should Maria do to address this situation in accordance with DepEd guidelines? Here are the sets of questions and options. A. Maria should ignore the absences as they are beyond her control. B. Maria should report the absences to the school principal and guidance counselor for further investigation and intervention. C. Maria should wait for the parents to address the issues themselves. Or D. Maria should discuss the absences with her colleagues but not involve the school administration. What is your answer? I would like to see your responses on the chat box, please, or in comments below. Okay. Majority are responding on letter B. Is that correct answer? Okay, let's find out. Wow, you are correct. So it's letter B. Congratulations to those who responded on letter B options. Maria should report the absences to the school principal and guidance counselor for further investigation and intervention. So they can work together to investigate the reasons behind the absences and provide appropriate support to the students and of course to their families. Wow, congratulations to those who get the correct answer. Now let's proceed to the second set of questions. Okay, join me in the reading of the question. Joseph, a high school teacher, has taught in his class who constantly disrupts the learning environment by talking loudly and making jokes during lessons. What should Sir Joseph do to address the behavior effectively? Is it A, Joseph should ignore the disruptive student as addressing the behavior may cause more dis disruption. Letter B, Joseph should publicly reprimand the student to set an example for the class. Letter C, Joseph should have a private conversation with the student to discuss the disruptive behavior and its impact to the class. Or letter D, what's letter D? Joseph should involve the parents immediately without talking to the student. What is your answer? Everyone, please comment below or make on your response to the comment box for your responses. OK, I guess we're done. Thank you so much for those who are responding online. The correct answer is letter. What's your answer? It's letter C. 
Okay, we have majority responses. You got it right. Let's letter C says Joseph should have a private conversation and why? Okay. What's the reason? Publicly reprimanding the student in letter B may escalate the situation and it's not recommended practice for teachers. So it should be done privately. Okay. Thank you so much. Now we'll proceed to the next set of questions. Here is a situation about Sarah, a teacher who is planning her lessons for the upcoming semester. She wants to incorporate technology into her teaching methods. What should Sarah consider when integrating technology into her classroom as her best practices? It would be, be A, Sarah should use technology in every lesson to make the class more exciting? Is it letter B, Sarah should ensure that the technology aligns with her learning objectives and enhances students' understanding of the subject? Or C, Sarah should replace traditional teaching methods entirely with the use of technology? Or D, Sarah should leave the choice of technology tools to her students? What is your correct answer? Okay, the correct answer is letter B. It is recommended approach. Okay, yan ang sagot natin. Sarah should ensure that the technology she integrates in her classroom aligns with her learning objectives and enhances students' understanding of the subject matter. Technology should complement, now remember that, and support effective teaching practices and not replacing them. I repeat, not replacing them. Okay, well done everyone. Thank you so much for your correct responses and all those who were not able to make it, make sure to review this part about Sarah in planning the usage of technology. Now we move on to the next set of situation. Mark, a teacher in a rural school, faces challenges in assessing the internet Accessing the internet and online resources for his teaching. How can Mark adapt to the situation effectively? Is it A, Mark should ignore the internet and continue with traditional teaching methods? B, Mark should request that school provide high speed internet access immediately? C, Mark should explore offline resources and adapt his teaching materials accordingly? Or D, Mark should ask his students to provide internet access through their mobile phones. Okay, I'm giving you 30 seconds to work on with the correct answer. Then please key in your answers on our comment box. Okay, I guess everybody in their answer and the correct answer is wow it's letter c congratulations to those who prompted their answers right it's letter c mark should explore offline resources and adapt his teaching materials accordingly okay so given the challenges in accessing internet mark should explore on offline resources and adapt his teaching materials to ensure that he can still provide quality education without relying solely on online resources. Okay, malimit lumalabas ito sa ating lead examination. Now, we'll see the next situation. Talks about Angela. A teacher has noticed that some of our students are struggling with reading comprehension. So she wants to implement reading interventions. What should Angela do? to address the issue effectively. Please read the four responses or options and please key in your answers on the comment box. Okay, I guess we're done. And what is the correct answer? Okay, let's find it out. And the correct answer is letter B. Wow, good luck. And congratulations to those who were able to make 
Response concerns on letter B. The option B is recommended response. Why? Because Angela should identify the struggling students and provide targeted reading support either during class or through a reading intervention program to address their specific needs and improve comprehension. Wow, congratulations. Now let's move on to the next set of situation. Here says that James, the teacher, has received feedback from parents that his teaching methods are not engaging enough and his students seem disinterested in the lessons. How should James respond to this feedback? Is it A, James should ignore the feedback as teaching methods are a personal choice? B, James should consider the feedback seriously, reflect on his teaching practices, and explore ways to make the lessons more engaging. C, James should blame the students for their lack of interest. Or D, James should request that the parents teach their children themselves. What is your answer? Please key in your answers on the comment below. And we'll find out the correct answer is letter. Okay, you're right. It's the correct answer is letter B. Why? What's the rationalization? B is the appropriate response since James should consider the feedback seriously, reflect on his teaching practices, and explore ways to make the lessons more engaging. Effective teaching involves continuous improvement. Remember that continuous improvement based on feedback and, of course, reflections from the results of the lesson. Okay, I guess we're making it right and you're building yourselves to be uh, the lead champion or top notchers. Now, we'll see here another situation about Rita. Please join me in reading. Rita, a teacher, is concerned that some of her students are experiencing bullying by their peers. What should Rita do to address the situation in line with debit guidelines? A. Rita should confront the bullies publicly to stop their behavior. B. Rita should ignore the situations as bullying is a normal part of growing up. C. Rita should report the bullying incidents to the school authorities and guidance counselor for appropriate intervention. Or D, Rita should ask the victims to handle the bullying in their own, on their own. Key in your answers on the comment box, top notchers. All right, am I seeing that your correct answer is letter C? Wow, very good. Rita should report the bullying incidents to the school authorities, and that should be the case. Okay. Ignoring bullying is not an acceptable approach as in situation letter B. Okay, do we have more for this session? Yes, we have, and that's the I think the last situation to be uh, given attention. David, a teacher, is planning an extracurricular activity for his students. Some students have expressed interest in science club, while others want to participate in a sports club. How can David address the situation inclusively? A. David should plan the extracurricular activity that interests him the most. B. David should choose one activity that he prefers and exclude the other students. C. David should offer both science club and sports club as options, allowing students to choose based on their interest. Or D. David should ignore the students' preferences and assign them to different activities. What would be the answer? Okay, I see uh, several options or recommendations as your answers to this uh, situation. The correct answer is letter C. Option C is recommended response. Why? As David should offer both science and a sports club as options, allowing students to choose based on their interests. So this respects the diverse preferences of your students. Wow. 
I guess we have one another here. Everybody, let's read. Sarah, a teacher, has noticed that some of our students frequently come to school without proper school supplies. What should Sarah do to address the situation and support her students effectively? A. Sarah should publicly shame the students who come to school without supplies to encourage them bringing their own. B. Sarah should provide extra supplies from her own resources and discuss the issue privately with the student's parents. Or C. Sarah should ignore the issue as it is the responsibility not not her or K, not to provide the supplies. Or D, Sarah should assign extra homework to the students without the use of supplies. What is the answer? Wow, the correct answer is letter B. You are correct. The option C is the caring and practical response. So Sarah should provide extra supplies from her own resources and discuss the issue privately with the students' parents to find a solution. So publicly shaming the students assess in option A is not is not an appropriate approach. Wow, well, well done. And I guess that ends our review free sessions for this morning or for this day on. And congratulations to those who were able to get complete answers. Anyone please comment your scores below so that I know and feel free to to share your scores. Okay. And there we have it. The conclusion of our free online review sessions on professional education, specifically on the teaching profession. And I hope you find the session insightful and valuable. Remember that the journey of learning and growth in the teaching profession is ongoing. So I encourage you to keep exploring, stay curious, and continue for professional development. Education is a dynamic field, and each day brings new opportunities to make differences in the lives of our students. If you have any more, uh, do you have any more questions or topics that you'd like to cover in our future sessions? Please feel free to leave them in the comment sections below. Your feedback and input are also highly appreciated. Thank you once again for joining me today. And I look forward for future learning adventures together. Until next time, this is Teacher Ronnie signing off and wishing you a success for your teaching endeavors and, of course, to ace the licensure examinations you wish for. Take care and keep firing. Now, signing off. Bye bye, everyone. See you next session.